Hello, welcome back to Astrovino. So we're in the observatory now, and I've just kind of uh, repositioned the telescope to be in the right kind of place, um, just to have a look at then installing the new G-ring. So first of all, what I'm going to do is take off the original G-streak shield. So obviously this is one of the uh, you know the wraparounds that uh, people tend to see. We will properly unhook that in a bit. But I'm now going to just pop off the other dew shield. And then we are left with the main area of focus. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at obviously taking off the initial um, returning circle and uh, the gasket, um, obviously, which is the section that's kind of running around here. Now, you'll notice I've put the piece of uh, white paper in uh, just to kind of protect this. The instructions do say that you're supposed to really angle this straight up, but unfortunately, um, due to the uh, the height of the pier um, and everything else, I don't have that luxury because I'd have to be kind of standing right up here uh, to try to look down. So I'm hoping this is going to work okay from this particular point. So I have done a very quick uh, initial test. So these screws, they're not that tight. Um, it's like very slight. Um, turn just to kind of unscrew them so um, it really shouldn't be too much effort to kind of take these off. Now it does uh, recommend obviously you start taking them off based on obviously diagonals um, like the, the uh, almost like a star formation if you will um, just to make sure it's like evenly done and I'm then assuming that to then put the next piece on will be similar kind of process to put the other section back on again. Okay, so I've uh, now taken out all these particular screws, and as we'll see, these sections can now apparently be lifted out. Now, is there a notch? Now, see, that's an interesting one. Is we have these little plastic sections here. Oh, there we go, and we're out. So that part's okay. Let's put that down there. And the other part is the gasket there, which, as we can see, has two sections. Okay, now that those sections are off, we can actually take the, uh, the dew ring and place this onto here. Now, there is a slight notch at the top there, which I'm guessing should allow me to pop that through if I line it up properly. There we go. So make sure you're getting that notch in the right place, otherwise you're going to have problems. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, um, you know, once I've kind of put that in, use the notch just to kind of get through that little uh, plastic section here, and then obviously just turn that round slightly to align the holes up. So I put one screw in there just now, just so I, I know it's in the right place. I also made sure that when I turn that one, just bear in mind where your cables are as well, because you know I do want my cables to be able to sit and feed back down the scope because they need to go down into the uh, the Pegasus Astro uh, dew heater sections. Obviously, this white section is still here, but we'll now just go and screw in the rest of the uh, screws. Okay, and there we have. So all the screws are kind of back in there. Uh, you'll note that I actually did decide to move that around just a little bit more because you really put the uh, wire central back here. Um, it was just a case of making sure that your, your holes were lining up with the previous ones before. Um, these screws are really not tight on. Uh, just enough like they were just to kind of keep this in place and it's, uh, it's pretty secure there now. So looking pretty cool. Okay, so now that that's uh, in place, you'll see the fact that um, I've also put the 
the cable there and actually fed the cable through. Um, the clip just actually bolts straight onto the top of here. So, you know, you've got this uh, particular connection, which is just sitting in there quite nicely, quite snug. The other connector um, that is on here is actually for adding an additional like uh, smart thermistor uh, which would plug into a different kind of system. But again, because I have the Pegasus Astro uh, unit with the dew uh, heater elements, uh, that will actually control this for me anyway. So uh, I'm not too concerned there. I've got a little bit of cable tidying up to do at the back here. The only other problem I have noticed is for those who also still you know, use their dew shield. So, obviously this was um, just the standard Celestron one. I had cut it before, um, just because I have the additional dovetail bar at the top, so this one wasn't a uh, double notched, but you know, it's pretty easy just to cut this. Um, but obviously now that I've got this unit here, it's obviously s it's protruding out, so they didn't really think enough about what would happen there. So what I'm gonna have to do is just kind of cut into this a little bit more here, um, as we can see. It's obviously not clearing here anymore. It would clear here. So just need a little bit of like rework here. And then obviously I can put that back on again and hopefully it fits snug. Um, for people that have got uh, different dew shields, um, I don't know how well that would work. If you had an aluminum one, that might be a little bit more challenging as well. Okay, so we did get the dew shield on, but um, the problem I actually had was the clip um, was just very difficult to kind of put this in the right place. Um, obviously because you've got the uh, dovetail bar at the back here, um, if you want the cables there, it can't sit in on top of that because there's not enough distance. Um, and obviously yeah, if I do it anywhere else, then I'm having to cut out other kind of panels there. What I decided to do instead was actually just um, trim down the cable there, the cable, cables feeding through here, and obviously down the back. So it's the only slight difference I've done. Um, you know, the cable's still accessible, so it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, but now the dew shield will sit back on top of the uh, unit properly. As I said, these kind of dew shields um, are kind of like a plastic. Uh, they're pretty easy to cut and obviously shape it to you know, what you need it to do. So the final part is um, obviously the uh, dew heater cable is kind of feeding back down from the, uh, the main uh, rig now. Um, and obviously it's feeding into the Pegasus Astro uh, micro box here at the, the back of the, uh, of the pier. Uh, there are two dew heater uh, connectors here, so it's utilizing uh, connector B. So the next time I go to uh, turn the mount on, I should be able to hopefully see uh, the response of the electric there, and then we'll start to see what's happening uh, with the dew heater. So very simple installation, obviously aside from if you're trying to put a dew shield back on again, um, that's the only kind of complication I would say. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty happy. Um, it was pretty quick and easy. You just need to take your time. Um, but even then, it took me about five to six minutes to install, so yeah, it's pretty good overall. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope it was interesting, and uh, good luck if you get one of these yourself. Otherwise, clear skies.